Hi everyone, welcome to this brand new lecture. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how you can install a TensorFlow with the Anaconda and how you can use a TensorFlow GPU if you have a GPU. Alright, so for that you have to have the Anaconda as a pre-installed software. In previous lecture, I had shown you how you can install the Anaconda. Thereafter, you need to open here Anaconda prompt in a administrator mode. Alright, so either you can click on here or right click and then run as the administrator. Alright, so you will run here Anaconda into administrator mode. So this is the default path for the Anaconda into the administrator mode. Alright, thereafter you need to search here TensorFlow. Alright, let me zoom this a little for you so that you can see it clearly. Alright, so here you need to search here TensorFlow install. Alright, or install TensorFlow, whatever uh, you prefer to search there. Then you will be getting this particular uh, page here, install TensorFlow 2. Thereafter, you will be getting here these pip installation instructions, but I would request you to click on read the pip install guide. There, you will be redirected to something like this. So this one you need to install on your Windows computer. So you need to click on Windows WSL2 here. Alright, if you are using Linux, you can use this one or Mac OS for this one or Windows WSL2. And then you need to copy first line from here. Just copy this and there you need to go back into your Anaconda administrator uh, Anaconda prompt and then paste that here. Then you need to run this. So you will run this. The Conda will automatically find out the QDA toolkit 11.2 and QDNN 8.1 which will be installed on your computer under the environment base here. All right. Alright, so once Conda identifies all the downloadable packages, it will ask you whether you want to proceed or not. I'm going to say yes, I want to proceed. Then depending on your internet speed, it is going to take some time to download CUDA toolkit and QDNN. So you need to wait for some time so that it can finish download and then installation. Alright, after some time you will find out that this installation is done. Thereafter you need to come here and then you need to copy this whole thing from here. Alright, and then just copy this. Thereafter you need to paste that here. Alright, so it says that the export LD library path, LD library path, the Konda prefix and then lib. You just run this, you will see that the export is not recognized. Because we are using here a Windows machine, so you need to set here, you need to replace this export with set. So we do here, we, we set our, uh, you know, the loaded library path. Thereafter, you need to install a TensorFlow. So you need to just copy it from there and then paste it here. Then we are going to run here Python mpip install TensorFlow. Do remember, the first process where we installed CUDA toolkit and QDNN that is required only when you want to use TensorFlow with the GPU. If you want to use TensorFlow just for the purpose of the CPU processing, I mean to say that on a computer which don't have a GPU, then you don't need to install a CUDA toolkit and the QDNN. All right. So while installing TensorFlow, it will also install other necessary libraries and packages on the fly. Once this TensorFlow will be installed, then we will be copying this whole thing to test whether TensorFlow is using GPU or not. All right. So I'm just going to copy this whole thing. Then I'll replace this Python 3 with the Python there. All right. Now you see there the TensorFlow has been successfully installed. Currently, we are using here a TensorFlow 2.10. Let's go ahead and run this one. Uh, there, I need to replace, let me just show you here, this Python 3 with the Python there. Alright, let's go ahead and just run this. 
all right so the first time it takes some time to initialize the tensor flow and uh, you know the cuda packages that's why it is taking some time otherwise it could have given you the tensor flow is using gpu all right let's wait for some time all right after some time it has given you a result where it says that the device type is the gpu so if gpu was not being used it would have given you as no gpu found or something like that result since we are already using here uh, uh, i mean to say that since i already have a gpu in my computer and i also installed the cuda toolkit and the qdnn in a correct procedure so my tensor flow is using here a gpu now i can develop the algorithm a deep learning algorithm which will be using a gpu but still we have not installed the pytorch yet but suppose that if you want to install the pytorch and you want to use the gpu with the pytorch which we will be seeing in the coming lectures i'll show you how you can install the pytorch and how you can use the gpu with the pytorch all right this is all about in this lecture thanks for watching i'll see you in next one